So by now you probably know that vitamin C serums are one of my favorite products to have. It's really a holy grail product of mine. And THD ascorbate has become one of my favorite vitamin C derivatives. So today I want to share with you my favorite vitamin C serums containing the liposoluble THD ascorbate as the active vitamin C. Hi, my name is Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you enjoy learning more about vitamin C, then I'd love it if you can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Why is vitamin C essential? Well, aside from skincare, first of all, it is an essential vitamin, meaning we actually need to obtain it from dietary sources or supplements. Our body doesn't make it on its own. And so when we don't have enough of it, you can actually run into medical issues, and that is called scurvy, where not only do you have skin problems, poor wound healing, joint problems. And so that actually is well-known phenomena in you know dermatology and in medicine. But when it comes to benefits for the skin, the best and most direct way is applying skincare products that has vitamin C and really for me that is why I am so obsessed with it in my morning skincare routine because number one vitamin C is a great and potent and well-studied antioxidant meaning it helps to offer additional protection against ultraviolet radiation pollution and visible light that can all do harm and cause faster skin aging it's definitely not a substitute for sunscreen but can work really well with sunscreen two vitamin C is actually what it's called a coenzyme, meaning the enzyme that makes um, collagen actually need this cofactor, um, vitamin C, and really need it to properly work. And when we don't have vitamin C, the enzyme doesn't function properly and we don't get uh, proper collagen synthesis. And that's actually one of the pathogenesis behind scurvy. And three, vitamin C does offer brightening benefits, you know, helps to improve dullness, adds radiance, and also helps to even out uneven skin tone. Vitamin C does inhibit tyrosinase, the enzyme that creates pigment. So for those who are battling hyperpigmentation, vitamin C can also be a really helpful ingredient. Now, when it comes to vitamin C, not all derivatives, which there are many on the market, especially in skincare, are the same. The pure form, l acid, is what does the job that I mentioned before. But Unfortunately, l acid is highly unstable and there are ways we can formulate l acid to make it more stable, but those uh, ways like making it more acidic, often it's in a watery serum and not everybody's able to tolerate that, you know? And so of all the derivatives on the market, so like a sodium ascorbyl phosphate, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, ethylated vitamin C, ascorbyl like glucoside, those are all derivatives that basically helps to stabilize vitamin C. And then in our skin, the goal is to number one, have it absorbed into our skin and to have enzymes in our skin convert those derivatives into the active L ascorbic acid and, and do the job properly. And unfortunately, when it comes to scientific evidence and proof of what works, l ascorbic acid has the most data and there is even question about whether a lot of the salt forms like sodium and magnesium ascorbyl phosphate even um, is effective at being you know able to be absorbed into our skin so comes in liposoluble forms of vitamin C. So the most popular one and the one that has the next best level of evidence when it comes to vitamin C period in skincare has to be THD ascorbate. So the long name is called tetrahexyldesyl ascorbate. But basically this is a liposoluble derivative of vitamin C. And it, it's beneficial in a couple ways. Number one, it's a lot more stable. It doesn't get as easily oxidized um, like ascorbate acid like the l ascorbic acid would so the formulation is a little bit more stable and with that maybe a longer shelf life two it's actually able to penetrate the skin more readily compared to pure l ascorbic acid because of the lipid solubility Three, it's been shown to effectively be converted into pure l ascorbic acid in the skin by enzymes in our skin. Because of the lipid solubility, often the way it's formulated and product ends up being more creamy, less watery, and less likely to burn. And so I tend to recommend it for all patients, but in general, in individuals who are looking for a vitamin C antioxidant serum that may have dry, sensitive skin, uh, or find the traditional l ascorbic acid to burn too much, to be too irritating, or even cause breakouts, I think THD ascorbate would be a great alternative to try. And as I mentioned, you know, l ascorbic acid does have the most level of evidence as far as like just efficacy 
efficacy uh, because it is the active form of vitamin C. But I would say THD ascorbate is probably like the next best ingredient that has shown to be efficacious. And that is also why we see a lot more products with THD ascorbate in serums or you know in moisturizers. And really the only downside that I can think of is that THD ascorbate compared to pure L-ascorbic acid is definitely more expensive. How you would incorporate vitamin C in your routine is I personally love it in the morning. I find that that's where it offers the most benefit, right? As an antioxidant under my sunscreen. Um, some people ask, can you use it in the evening? And certainly you can, but like I said, because of its function, I just like it better in the morning. Um, with THD ascorbate, the formula is very much more gentle. So you can certainly even use it twice a day if you like. Now, technically vitamin C, at least from SkinCeuticals internal study and what's been published is that L-ascorbic acid, once it saturates your skin, so usually, at least with SkinCeutical C Ferulic, it's been shown that using it, I think applied to your skin three, four days in a row does saturate your skin completely. And so, and it takes additional like three, four days to complete your skin's supply of that vitamin C. And so technically you could certainly like use it every three, four days to make your expensive serum last. But I just, like I said, use it every morning because aside from the antioxidant benefits, you're also getting anti-aging and brightening benefits. And those are really going to come with more daily consistent use. Now let's jump into my favorite products. I'm gonna start off with pricier ones and then end with less expensive and then drugstore find that I think is really worthwhile trying, especially if you're on a budget. The first one I wanna recommend is really, I think probably the most popular one amongst dermatologists and plastic surgeons, and it's the Skim Better Alto Defense that retails for $165. This is a really rich, creamy, luxurious serum that is super hydrating, but not sticky or heavy. It contains THD ascorbate along with 17 different other antioxidants, including vitamin E, and then like licorice, green tea, turmeric, and Skin Better, like SkinCeuticals, does have quite a bit of clinical studies showing efficacy. And so with the richness and the creaminess of the serum, I find that a lot of my dermatology colleagues who have sensitive skin and rosacea themselves, as well as patients that have used this, really enjoy that aspect, that it's great antioxidant, helps to target fine lines, wrinkles, but is super nourishing, very high hydrating and not irritating at all. The Alto Defense Serum is essential oil free, fragrance free, and alcohol free. And that's often the case for majority of the serums that I'm mentioning today. So again, another reason why if you have sensitive and rosacea prone skin, these are better options for you. And that is really the reason why I love it as well. I don't have rosacea prone skin, but my skin does get sensitive. And during the winter time living in Minneapolis, it can be really dry and cold. Actually, it is very dry and cold. And so this is often where I switch a lot of my actives, including retinoids and different formulations of vitamin C to better suit my skin's needs. And often Skin Better Alto Defense or just in general THD ascorbate serums, I tend to gravitate more to um, using in the winter time. The next serum is from Revision, and it's the C Plex Correcting Complex that contains 30% vitamin C, and that retails for $176. So this contains 30% THD ascorbate along with different antioxidants, including vitamin E, as well as their like malopath technology, but basically ingredients formulated together to help not only target uh, you know free radical damage, but also hyperpigmentation. Revision is another great professional line that dermatologists and plastic surgeons recommend and traditionally has been sold in clinics and offices. This one definitely is pricey, but is another great serum to try, especially if you are battling hyperpigmentation. Now, the only thing I would comment on is that with the 30% vitamin C, even though THD ascorbate is less irritating, it could sometimes be more irritating than other ones that I'm gonna to mention today. So it's one of those where, personally, when I tried it, I didn't have any issues, but in general, my skin also tolerates like l ascorbic acid serums fairly well. So if you are very sensitive skinned, um, this may not be the one to start off with, for example, but otherwise it is certainly fragrance free as well, essential oil free and alcohol free. Going down the list is from Pericone MD and it's their C Ester CCC Plus Ferulic Acid Brightening Complex, I believe, and it's 20%. Uh, this retails for $165. I also really enjoyed this one. It's creamy and it basically is like a spinoff of CE Ferulic from SkinCeuticals, but using 20 
20 percent thd ascorbate now when it comes to the percentages of thd ascorbate unfortunately we just don't have um, enough information we do know that the best concentration for l ascorbic acid is between 10 to 15 to 20 percent and interestingly anything higher than 20 percent for pure vitamin c has been shown to not actually offer additional benefit and may actually reduce absorption for lipid soluble vitamin C, I don't think such a study has been done. Now, this is also where more isn't necessarily better, but I would say as far as like skincare, common ranges I see, if brands even disclose that, because you often don't see that sometimes, would be like from 5% I've seen it to 10%, 20 I definitely think 30% is on the higher end, but I would say five to 10% is kind of usually what I've seen brands disclose, but you may not even see that being disclosed because again, liposoluble vitamin C, you can't compare apples to oranges. It's not the same as allosorbic acid. And similarly, higher isn't better. Very elegant, very lightweight, but more hydrating. Just another creamier THD ascorbate option that I've used and I really enjoyed. Another one that contains 20% THD ascorbate that's slightly less expensive is from uh, Peter Thomas Roth and it's their Potency Power Serum. Creamy, milky serum that is hydrating but absorbs really nicely. And this one is fragrance-free, essential oil-free and alcohol-free. So it is really a nice one if you're looking for just a different option in a fragrance free formulation that is really not irritating and honestly this is what i've been using lately since i finished my alto defense from skin better and i really have been enjoying the texture of it and you know peter thomas roth is a great brand really like a lot of their products as well and so another one to try going down the list in price but totally different formulation that actually I don't really find myself using often but in case if you are interested or curious if you're looking for a vitamin c oil the one that I've tried and really enjoy is from Biosaz and it's their squalene vitamin c rose oil that retails for $75 in general, personally, and this is totally a personal preference, I don't really enjoy oils in my skincare. I mean, I may sometimes put it on over my moisturizer and that's usually how I use oils in general, almost like an occlusive to kind of a slug or reduce um, transepidermal water loss. I think the problem with oils is depending on the formulation, it can get quite greasy and may hinder the absorption of other products you use after so how you use it may be slightly different and two um if you're oily and acne prone oils themselves may not truly cause acne coconut oil has been shown to be more comedogenic but it may cause occlusion of other products you use and may lead to potentially more breakouts. So that's the other thing to consider. But certainly oils are nice if you have dry skin. How I envision using like a vitamin C oil, if you are interested in doing that in your routine is probably I would actually use it at night because the thing is in the morning if you use it before your sunscreen you really have to wait for that to fully absorb otherwise oils may impede a sunscreen's ability to form that film on your skin and thereby it's not going to work so here is where I would actually recommend the opposite use oils in your evening routine um, and if you do want to use it in the morning you have to just make sure that you use it um, make sure it's fully absorbed before you put on your sunscreen reason why i like this oil and honestly i haven't tried that many i may have tried only a few but this is by far my favorite it, it's number one um, contains squalene and thd ascorbate along with vitamin e and rose oil which can also offer some skin barrier support it is on the lighter side compared to all the skin oils that i've tried this is one that i find to absorb the fastest and it is a lightweight oil as you guys can see um has a nice light floral scent it is definitely conditioning moisturizing and once you let it once you rub it in and you let it absorb and in general if i'm going to use vitamin c oils in my morning routine i would recommend so letting it sit for at least like 10 minutes before you put on your sunscreen wait for it to fully absorb or you can see once it, i rub it in it actually is fairly lightweight and it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't really look very greasy or shiny if you are looking for a vitamin c oil 
I recommend trying this one. Okay, moving on, going back to our normal creamier serums. The next one is one from Glow Recipe, and it's I think it, the full name is called like Guava Dark Spot Serum that retails for $45. I actually recommended this or talked about it in my previous vitamin C video. I really love this serum for a few reasons. Number one, it's definitely relatively more affordable compared to the other ones I've talked about. Two, it contains five different vitamin Cs, uh, THD ascorbate, ethylated vitamin C, along with a few other uh, vitamin C derivatives that really offer the range of benefits antioxidant benefits and more importantly brightening benefits also contains ferulic acid another antioxidant tremella mushroom that white fungus that's great at hydrating the skin along with tranexamic acid that helps to even out hyperpigmentation so this serum i think it's great for individuals that are looking for a vitamin c serum but also help to improve uneven skin tone it is a really pretty pretty yummy smelling serum it's a light pink creamy texture that's hydrating Rating. And I believe it is also fragrance free, you know, aside from the fruit extract, um, it doesn't have any added uh, fragrances and it's very hydrating, as I mentioned with that tremella mushroom. So it's a great, I feel like a multi-purpose product. I think that one would be a great one to try. And then just one product I want to throw in here. It's not really a serum, but one I've really been enjoying lately that I want to mention. And it's from Paula's Choice, the C5 Super Booster Moisturizer that contains 5% uh, THD ascorbate along with hexapeptide 5 that offers some plumping, maybe anti-aging benefits, and also contains ethylated ascorbic acid along with uh, ascorbyl glucoside. So two different additional derivatives of vitamin C. Um, it's just a really nice creamy gel cream that is very hydrating, but not heavy. And honestly, I've been using this pretty exclusively the past few months as my morning moisturizer. I think definitely offers more brightening benefits, you know, hydrating benefits uh, than say antioxidant benefits but you know for those individuals who are not into vitamin c serums but want a moisturizer with anti-aging effects hydration effects this one is one i highly recommend and you can certainly um you layer on top of your antioxidant serums and that's what i do in the morning and i have not found it to be at all irritating so just want to throw it out there because it's also 45 dollars and just one that i also been loving and also contains thd ascorbate Okay, last but not least, if you are looking for an affordable vitamin C serum, then you gotta check out Vanna Cream's vitamin C serum. This one contains exclusively THD ascorbate along with ceramides. It is a hydrating, lightweight, milky colored uh, serum and it retails for $20. Vanna Cream is a brand that is really formulated for individuals that have eczema prone skin, sensitive skin, individuals that have a history of known contact dermatitis to certain cosmetic or skincare ingredients and they really formulate without the common allergen so in addition to vitamin c the thd ascorbate this also contains ceramide so just another great option if you're looking for something affordable from a good brand that's hydrating but not heavy um, to use every morning all right guys so those are my favorite thd ascorbate vitamin c serum slash products that i used and really enjoy do you use thd ascorbate based serums if so let me know in comments below which has been your favorite again thank you so much for watching if you have other video suggestions ideas that you want me to address please let me know in comments below and i will see you guys next time